Hi, I'm Dr. Drew Phillips, and I'm the horn and trumpet professor at Liberty University. And today I want to talk to you through the VBODA District 6 High School Audition Etude for Horn and give you some notes that I made to help you practice it and then provide a reference recording so you can hear what it sounds like. So at the beginning, first things first, you always look at the time signature, the key signature, and the tempo before you start anything. We're sitting in D minor at the beginning, so remember your B flats. The tempo is Andante Espressivo, and that tempo dictates a lot of the style you're gonna use. Because it's slower, you're gonna want a lot of tone on every single note you play. And you see in the beginning, we have lots of legato markings. With legato, the tongue has to be really light. It's really easy on legato to try and football every single note and go da, 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 and grow into it. But what you'd rather have is more evenness, like block notes. So I suggest a da tongue at the top of the mouth, light that's bouncing off the airstream to get a da, 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 da on that so you don't have the chance to football the notes. That will take away from the musicality if you do football them and make it sound unstable. And if you play more block shaped notes, it makes a much more even sounding and effortless sounding phrase. Um, there's lots of dynamics in this first section. And so be very, very obvious about when you're crescendoing, when you're decrescendoing, making lots of difference between them. Um, very, very expressive on especially your crescendos, especially to measure five where you have fortissimo and immediately after you have subito piano. Add the subito piano. Don't play so softly that the pitch doesn't speak. You want to make sure that you do provide a firm enough articulation so that the D does sound. So don't think like as quietly as you possibly can play. Think just in the distance. That usually helps me when I'm playing like less um, loud dynamics is I think at a greater distance away from me helps my air go faster and away from me to help the pitch still speak. You'd breathe after measure five anyway, so just be careful not to come in too soft at measure six and make sure it does speak. At the fermata, right before the second section, fermatas, uh, it's not super commonly known or dictated roughly how you need to how long you need to hold a fermata. I like to think of it until you can't feel the pulse anymore. So we have this pulse set up at quarter equal 72 or something really close to it when you start this. And so it just needs to be held until you can't feel that plodding along subdivision that you're doing. As you're playing that fermata D, you want to decrescendo all the way through it. Think about your air going further and further away, like getting faster and colder and much further away from you. That'll help the pitch continue as you're making the airstream smaller and smaller and smaller until the lips stop vibrating. After this, empty your spit. Like take some time to empty your spit. I do it in the, the video I made for you. So I strongly urge you to do the same. So you don't have the possibility of lots of water running through your horn through the rest of this. We get into the second part, it's much faster and it's a lot more articulate. So on this, I would think a light articulate style um, and you're thinking separation between the notes, but not short. Um, staccato means separated, not short. And so what I like to think of a staccato is bouncy instead of like clipped. You don't want to end any of your articulations with the tongue. So I like to think of putting an H on the end of them to give them the separation that you need. So in legato, in the first part where you're thinking da, 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 where there's like D-A-A, -A, like no separation between them. And then in staccato for separation, I think like D-A-H. So you think da, da, Da. That H is just enough to still have tone, but separates it slightly. And there's a big difference between da, 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 and ending with the tongue going da, da, da. So you don't want the clipped version. That's very little tone. And when you're playing solo, you always want to show off your pretty sound. So um, think about that tapered H at the end of your articulations on both marcato and staccato here. Um, in measure 11, be careful of the quarter note triplet to go over two beats and be even. It's really easy to turn that into like a clave rhythm that sounds like dotted eighth, uh, tied to eight, to sixteenth, over to eighth, and then eighth again, like a da, 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 da. You don't want that. You want triplet. 
Um, so very even on those. Um, when you're going through measure 13, be careful of the A sharp and the B at the end. Try and hear them before you get there. And when you're practicing, do them enough so that you know what they sound like. It's kind of ear tricky here that I noticed as I was practicing um, because it, the, especially the A sharp raised and then the B natural after it, it doesn't quite go where my ear wants it to in terms of this melody that's very, very diatonic. So just make sure you isolate those notes so you know what they feel feel like. And then once you're there, you can just press the fingers down, keep the air fast, and let the horn do the work for you. But that's a little ear tricky, so I would make sure to isolate that a couple of times. Um, you're still tonicizing F at this point. It's not D minor anymore. It's tonicizing F major. So um, let's see. In measure 15, I would breathe before the 16th note. So after you do the dotted quarter note, take a quick breath so that you have enough air to get through the end of this passage. Uh, in measure 16. So we have this G, F, G, D, C moment with the 16th notes. And the G to F, usually we play both of those trigger open. I find that kind of hard to do a lip slur that fast. So as I was playing it, what I found to be easier is to actually use an alternate fingering for the F and go trigger one. We don't normally do that, but it made a different resistance level to be able to do that da 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 dum instead of doing da da with just the lips. That was something that was really helpful for me. Of course, practice it on your own, but that's a tip that made it easier for myself as I was playing. And because it goes so fast, there's no difference in intonation or tone through it. It just made it easier to play. Um, in measure 16, keep the note loud through the fermata uh, on that don't d uh, diminuendo because it doesn't say so in the music. There's a retardando marked right before, and I would retardando maybe slightly, but keep the energy high. If you think about going too slow, it might lose volume or lose energy and intensity through the end of this passage, and that's not what you want. Empty spit again before we go to the next part. Absolutely take some time to empty your spit so you still don't have water in your horn. We get to the third part and it's tempo primo, which means that it's the tempo of the very, very beginning. So return to this slower expressive style, these legato articulations, trying to get tone on every single note. So keep everything the same. The more consistently that you play from the beginning, like try to play exactly as you did, the more consistent you are as a musician. And that's what people want to hear in auditions. Um, in this section, uh, what I would do is right between measure 22 and 23, we're going to breathe again before that subito piano. Again, don't come in too softly. Make sure it speaks. We'll get the point that it's softer if you think distantly because you're coming from fortissimo, super, super loud. Try and take a breath that lasts through the entirety of the rest of the excerpt instead of trying to breathe again in measure 24 right before the E to the C sharp. I think that's kind of dangerous to end that because that D, E, C sharp range all kind of feel the same. And if we cannot uh, take the horn off the face and just keep playing through it, it makes it a lot easier. Um, but anyway, that's my tips. And so now I'm gonna play it so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, thank you for, uh, for playing this and for uh, auditioning. I know you're gonna do great, happy practicing. And if you have any questions, uh, my info is in the bottom in the descriptor. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I hope to hear from you and I hope your audition goes fantastically. Thank <laughs> you. 